With this treasure hunt activity, what you are first going to do is you will have this printed on one side and this clue on the back. Now you will want to make multiple clues depending on how many groups you are going to have. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to create small groups. And again, every student is going to go to a different location in your room. So for this one, the students might go where you have dictionaries located in your classroom. So again, you're going to make up clues and they're going to use those clues and that's where they're going to gather with their group. So this just kind of makes it fun. And then once they are there, they are going to use these questions and they're going to discuss them with their group. And whatever the topic is, you can change these prompts. This one kind of goes within story that students are reading. They might go over some vocabulary words that are upcoming in this unit or this story. Uh, if there's like a topic or maybe something that is going to continuously pop up in this story, you might add that right here. And then I might add like another vocab word and then students will do what they think it's going to be about this story or this unit. Feel free to add um, additional boxes if you want to. Just kind of copy them and then you can move them wherever you want to on this treasure map. And then again, students are able to discuss these different topics with their group and it's just kind of a fun theme where it's treasure feel. You might even have students get candy for when they do open up that treasure chest at the very end. Maybe they come to you with their final prediction about what the story or whatever the activity is going to be about.